Good evening. We are gathering to celebrate daily Vespers on this August 21st as we continue to celebrate the Dormition Feast. Uh, Matryoshka Cindy is still fighting traffic to get home, so she'll be joining us uh, at some point. So thank you for joining us. God cleanse and have mercy upon me. God cleanse and have mercy upon me. God cleanse and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, you are very great, you are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the wind your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with a garment, the waters stood above the mountains, at your rebuke they fled, at the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valley sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bond which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From your left you abode, you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle, plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth, and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, their rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness, and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works in wisdom, have you made them all? The earth is full of your creatures, yonder is the sea great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships of Leviathan, which you formed to sport in it. These all look to thee to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth, and it trembles. Who touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan T. Gamo, companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the Diocrit and Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy, and us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord, for to you are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the second tone, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O oh Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you, hear me. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. We offer you incense for Christ the God for us, we spiritual fragrance, even upon the hand we offer it, and not upon us to return the grace of the Holy Spirit. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord, keep watch over the door of my lips, incline not my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds, in company with men who work iniquity, and let me not partake of their delights. Let a good man strike or rebuke me, but let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head, for my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn that the word of the Lord is true. As a rock which one cleaves and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. But my eyes are toward you, O God, Lord and God. I seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. I cry with my voice to the Lord. With my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden the trap for me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains for me. No man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. 
If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand but there is forgiveness with you? With what lips shall we pour in unworthy? Call the Theotokos blessed. She is more honorable than all creation, and more holy than the cherubim and all the angels. She is the unshaken throne of the King, the abode in which the Most High has dwelt. She is the salvation of the world, the holy place of God, who richly grants to the faithful great mercy on this her holy feast. For your name's sake, I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. What songs of all did the apostles of the word offer you, O Virgin, as they stood round your deathbed and cried with wonder? The palace of the king withdraws. The ark of holiness is raised on high. Let the gates be opened wide, that the gate of God may enter into abundant joy. She who unceasingly asks for the world great mercy. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. What spiritual song shall we now offer you, O most holy? For by your dormition you have sanctified the whole world, and were translated to the kingdom that surpasses this world, there to perceive the beauty of the Almighty, and as his mother to rejoice in it exceedingly. You are attended by ranks of angels of your virgin, and by the souls of the just, with them intercede for us peace and great mercy. In the fourth tone, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Searching, O Agathonicus, for the original goodness, and the beauty that lies beyond understanding. You rejoice as you hasten to the noble struggles before you. You wrestled with the enemy, and with virtue you cast him to the ground. You wove for your head a splendid wreath of victory. Now you pray to the lover of mankind for those who sing your praises. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. You were a fountain adorned with wisdom, pouring forth life-giving words. You converted the foolish and shamed the tyrant emperor, destroying the worship of many idols. You strengthened the faithful to remain steadfast in the grace of God. You were cruelly burned as you hastened to ascend with your crown to the kingdom on high. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. You stood before the Master, covered with the blood of your terrible contest, a pure offering and sweet-smelling sacrifice, an acceptable gift of holy oblation, an unblemished burnt offering. Therefore, by your prayers, great athlete Agathonicus, Preserve the fullness of the church in peace. In the first tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It was right that the eyewitnesses and ministers of the word should see the dormition of his mother according to the flesh, the final mystery concerning her, so that they might be witnesses, not only to the ascension of the Savior, but also to the translation of her who gave him birth. Assembled from all parts by divine power, they came to Zion, and sped on her way to heaven, the virgin who is higher than the cherubim, we also venerate her, for she prays for our souls. O gladsome light of the holy glory, on the immortal Father, 
heavenly holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God and Giver of life. Therefore, all the world glorifies you. Wisdom, let us attend the evening prokimenades in the seventh tone. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from evildoers, and save me from violent men. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. See how they lie in wait for me. Fierce men conspire against me for no offense or sin of mine, O Lord. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. But I will sing of your strength in the morning, I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. O my strength, I sing praise to you. You, O God, are my fortress, my loving God. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy, that the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, aimless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord, for you are a good God who loves mankind. And to you we send a glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to your spirit, let us bow our heads unto the Lord, to you, O Lord. 
O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, had your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the second tone, at an all-powerful command. At an all-powerful command, the band of disciples gathers from the ends of the earth to bury the mother who gave birth to God. Arise, O Lord, and go to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. The holy bride of God, the queen and virgin, the glory of the elect and boast of virgins is translated to her son. The Lord swore in truth to David from which he will not turn back. The choir of apostles assembled most wondrously from the ends of the world to bury your body, O divine and undefiled one. In the eighth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Today, choirs of virgins mystically stand round the bed of the Virgin and Mother. The souls of the righteous come to honor the Queen. One brings virginity as a gift instead of myrrh. The other, the fruits of virtue as an immaterial song of praise. For it is fitting for the Mother of God as Queen to be attended by nobility arrayed in the bright robes of righteousness. Let us also make our contribution of a life that is pure. Let us go out with them to the burial of the truth, Theotokos, with one accord blessing her in hymns and spiritual songs. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for mine eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal and firm these for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Amen. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on, on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into a temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Your holy martyr Agathonicus and his companions, O Lord, through their sufferings have received their incorruptible crowns from you, our God. For having your strength, they label their adversaries and shattered the powerless boldness of demons. Through their intercession, save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You participated in the ways of the apostles and were enthroned as their successor. You discovered action as an entrance into vision, O inspired one of God, therefore directing the word of truth. You suffered for the faith even to the shedding of your blood. 
O Bishop and Martyr Irenaeus, pray to Christ God that our souls may be saved, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In giving birth, you preserved your virginity. In falling asleep, you did not forsake the world of Theotokos. You were translated to life, O Mother of Life, and by your prayers you deliver our souls from death. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. O Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Teak on all companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of our holy house, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox part of this life before us, especially the Archpriest Joseph, the servants of God, Yelena, Tatiana, Robert, and Arkady, and you hear men in all the world by asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, those suffering for their Orthodox faith, all those lying on a bed of sickness and need of healing, especially our former Metropolitan Theodosius, Matushki, Natasha, Anastasia, McCreen, and Cynthia Elizabeth, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, John, Sonia, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Kira, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Carol, Dorothy, Anne Marie, Julia, Maria, Victor, Nona, Oleg, Bettina, Nicholas, Delphina, for the servants of God suffering from the coronavirus, Stephen, Carol, Ann, Ron, Megan, Kevin, Madeline and the servant of God, Luca, and for the pardon and remission <clears throat> of their sins. Oh Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God, in his mercy and providential care for us, will call forth for our Diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender of this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our cry and repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those developing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Wisdom, Christ our God, the existing, is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy earth, and 
God's faith and Orthodox Christians unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ, our governor, sure hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, to the prayers of his most pure mother, of our holy, glorious, and right, victorious martyrs, of our holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, of our fathers among the saints, the holy martyr Agathonicus and his companions, and the holy high martyr Irenaeus, Bishop of Lyon, whom we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. So please join us over the course of the weekend for Vespers uh, on five at 5 o'clock on Saturday and our Obednitsa at 9 o'clock on Sunday. On Sunday we'll be celebrating the leave taking of the Dormition Feast and so uh, we'll have special uh, again prayers and stikira and uh, remembrances of the Theotokos on this blessed feast of her Dormition. Um, most feasts that we celebrate in the church are celebrated for an octave or eight days. Uh, so that is why we celebrate the feast on Saturday and on Sunday we'll celebrate the leave taking. God bless and be with you and we'll look forward to seeing many of you over the course of the weekend. And we'll sing the uh, Troparian one more time. In giving birth, you preserved your virginity. In falling asleep, you did not forsake the world of Theotokos. You were translated to life, O mother of mine, and by your prayers you deliver our souls.